people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and can you believe it? We are less than two days away from the release of Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. And in today's video, probably the final FNAF news video before the game releases, we got brand new gameplay, jump scares, mini games to take a look at for this upcoming title. I'm extremely, extremely excited for Help Wanted 2. If you guys are excited as well, subscribe to the channel because we will be playing through the entire game when it releases. And this doesn't have anything to do with Help Wanted 2, but today the physical versions, the home release of the FNAF movie are out. They come in this really awesome holographic case then you slide it open there's the actual movie so again not help wanted two related but i figured i'd show it off anyway because they did release literally today but now let's move over to our brand new info on help wanted two starting off with a brand new poster and probably a brand new mini game because if you remember all the way back when we got that first teaser trailer for help wanted two there was a poster of baby with an ice cream cone inside of the elevator and of course that's a reference to circus baby and elizabeth and that mini game with the ice cream but the other day see will provided the full hd poster and now all I'm saying is that all the other posters we've gotten so far, Fazer Blast, Bonka Bon, Mystic Hippo, those have all been minigames we can play in Help Wanted 2. So if that logic goes for all of the posters we've got so far, could we be getting a minigame where we have to make an ice cream for Circus Baby or for Elizabeth? I mean, that minigame would just be absolutely insane. I'm sure that would shock a lot of FNAF players. But speaking of sister location minigames, we might have just gotten another minigame revealed to us. Because today, Stu will post it, Hey guys, look at this. We're two days away from the release of Help Wanted 2. Isn't that cool? But then we got the design director, Brian Fryermuth at Stu Will Studios, quote, retweeting that, writing, or as I like to call it, Night 4. Now, the responses that this post got online were very mixed. Because a lot of people suspect that this is a callback to Night 4 in Sister Location with the Springlock suit. For a lot of people, that is the most dreadful night in Sister Location. I saw a lot of people claiming online, yeah, I just skipped that night. I don't like that gameplay. So like I said, a lot of people split on, wow, I can't believe they're adapting Night 4 to God, why are you adapting Night 4? But I'd love to know, do you think this is a hint at one of the mini games in Help Wanted 2? Me personally, I'm kind of fine with Night 4. I beat it on my second attempt not too long ago. But doing it in VR is going to be interesting because in the suit, you know, it's a very cramped space. But in VR, you kind of get to move around a lot. So how they would do that, if it, again, if it's in Help Wanted 2... I'm not entirely sure. Next up, we got a few voice actors and actresses in the FNAF franchise who are confirming, or in some cases, deconfirming their appearance in Help Wanted 2. First up, Cameron Miller, the voice actor for Montgomery Gator, responded to someone on Twitter saying, I am a part of Help Wanted 2, all but confirming that everyone's big green Monty Gator is going to be in Help Wanted 2, which is awesome to hear. Astrid Wong Searby, though, unfortunately did not have good news for us Cassie fans, because she confirmed on a live stream for Streamily that Cassie will not be returning in Help Wanted 2. With Ruin leaving off on a massive cliffhanger and Help Wanted 2 being the next installment in the FNAF franchise, a lot of people assumed that Cassie would be returning. But then we got to know a bit more about the title, you're a Fazbear Entertainment employee, doing some training exercises, and then... Yeah, we kind of started to doubt Cassie's involvement, and it looks like it's been entirely confirmed Cassie is not going to show up in Help Wanted 2. Cassie's become a fan favorite character, so I do hope there's more for her in the future, whether it be in future games or DLC. So now let's move on to the brand new footage we've gotten from Stewell Studios over on TikTok. That is why this video is in vertical format. We got brand new gameplay, brand new characters revealed that are going to be showing up in Help Wanted 2. New jump scares as well. I mean, there's a lot in this only 45 second long video that I've compiled. But first up, as you can see we are in the private room with Ballora on the cameras. We've seen plenty of footage of this private room featuring Ballora already, and there's also another character in this minigame that we're going to see in just a quick second. We got some footage of DJ Music Man, the carousel ride with the moon, and then we're back to the private room. So here we got a camera, we've got our power meter, as well as, notice, we've shut the vent door, even though... Ballora's coming on the right side. So again, there was another character here. I'm sure a lot of you could assume who it's going to be. Here comes Ballora spinning around. We got brand new gameplay of the Phaser Blast level with the plush babies. So in Phaser Blast, not only do we have targets we have to shoot, we also have actual characters coming after us. And I'd assume if the plush babies get a bit too close, that's when they kill us. So we got to shoot them. Get rid of them, and here's a brand new minigame with the endoskeleton. So we've seen the matching pattern in the trailer. We can also notice that this endoskeleton has a brain symbol on him, so it looks like he's learning whatever memory game we're doing right now. But also, as we're doing the matching minigame with him, we've got other endoskeletons lurking in the darkness that we have to flash with our faz cam to make them go away. We've got Bonkabon, back to Ballora in the private room. 
And then we've got a brand new jump scare for Ballora that is different from the one we got in the teaser trailer. You can see this time Ballora actually does not come from the ceiling. And also if you reverse it, it looks like she's trying to hit the dab right here. But she comes from the bottom, from the ground, right? And she opens up her face plates, her eyes open as well. I will say I'm pretty disappointed that the security breach uh, jump scare sound effect plays. All the jump scares we've gotten so far have that sound effect. Me personally, I've never been a massive fan of the security breach jump scare sound effect, so I do kind of hope they change it. <laughs> I feel like the characters should have their jump scare sound effects, right? Ballora should have the fun time jump scare sound effect. Uh, you know, Foxy should have FNAF 1 Foxy's jump scare sound effect. Like, it should correlate with what game they come from. So hearing that all the jump scares so far in all the trailers, and as we're going to see with other jump scares in the future, they all use the security breach one. I'm kind of disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. Moving on, the breaker room with Funtime Freddy. Music Man, he's back again. We got the Fazer Blast once again, so we gotta shoot the balloons. I also did see another YouTuber, it might have been Fusion now that I think about it. Uh, there's little symbols on these door pads, so I wonder if we can shoot them to close the door or turn on the light. Maybe as we're shooting these and not only the plush babies, there's also gonna be animatronics that come through the hallways and maybe we gotta shoot the doors to block them. Though, I mean, that's a pretty long shot, and if you miss that, you're kind of screwed, so maybe it'll just be bonus points, and, and it's not, you know, it kills you. I'm not sure, but brand new gameplay footage of Fazer Blast, Roxanne Wolf, Back to the Moon. This is interesting, not only because it's PSVR 2, and for some reason, that's the graphic that, <laughs> that his eyes are showing, uh, but mainly because, like I pointed out, DJ Music Man's eyes, they change symbols. So here we can see the sun symbol from the Ruin DLC, actually. And then as he's jamming out, they switch to symbols for Glamrock Chica, and we can see the dance floor he's on on a stage is changing colors. So maybe on our little control module keypad, there's different symbols we have to push depending on what symbols are in DJ Music Man's eyes. While at the same time making some awesome remix that he gets to jam out to, I, I don't know. It's gonna be an interesting minigame. That's probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. Next up, we've got the Helpy Cutout, which appeared in Captain Foxy's Pirate Adventure. And if we go forward a little bit, we can see it's also coming back in Captain Foxy's uh, Cowboy Adventure. So in Help Wanted 1, in the Curse of Dreadbear DLC during the Pirate Ride game, if you shoot your, your gun at the Helpy Standees, they'll take you on different alternate paths around the Pirate Ride. And that's where you can find the Jacko characters, you can keep going around and get more and more points. So the Helpy cutouts that lead you down the secret routes in the Pirate Ride, they are back in Help Wanted 2. I'm so, so happy about that. Since it seems like this takes place on the Log Flume from Ruin, I wonder if we're going to go through different areas of the Pizza Plex back before it was opened and it still had the log flume. But moving on now, we get a brand new jump scare, this time of the Bitty Bab. Look at this guy. Again, I will say, PSVR 2 and we're getting these textures. What's going on with that, Steel Wool? I I'm hoping this is like unpolished gameplay, but I don't know. I mean, this is kind of worrying. But like I alluded to earlier, the Bitty Bab seems like they are the character inside of the vent that we saw in the private room that we have this door shut, right? Because the Bitty Bab in Sister Location Custom Night went through that vent. So it looks like for the Private Room minigame, we got Ballora coming out the doors, and then we got Bitty Bab coming from the vents. And now I move on to the third and final video. We got a bit more gameplay of the Log Flume, the Cowboy Adventure for Captain Foxy. More footage of the moon. Fazer Blast. Looks like this time, instead of shooting a gun, we have to throw a ball. Yeah, look at that. We have to throw a ball instead of shooting a balloon. So I'm guessing different targets require you to use a different item. We get the build a paper plate minigame with the sun. Bonkabon once again. Again with the endoskeletons, he's back learning. He gets another brain symbol. Back to the moon. Pirate ride, this is the very start of pirate ride during the introduction. So once again, the targets at the start of the ride, we can once again shoot to get more bonus points. And then the jump scare for Captain Foxy, which I will say, this is probably the best looking jump scare we've seen. I mean, Foxy looks absolutely terrifying. Look at how sharp his teeth are. And I mean, he's just going to town on us. He looks like an absolute menace. I love that jump scare, love it. So that is all of the brand new gameplay for Help Wanted 2. Less than two days, guys. Less than two freaking days. But the mini games, man, they just look like so much fun. I cannot wait to hop into them. Steerwell was so creative this time around, and it looks so, so good. But that's going to do it for this FNAF News video. I might try and get another one out tomorrow, but if not, this is going to be the final video before we play Help Wanted 2. Hey, Steerwell, if you're watching, uh, 
I don't know if you've sent them out yet, but I've still not gotten an early access code for Help Wanted 2. But either way, I will see you guys on Thursday for the very first video on Help Wanted 2. Subscribe so you don't miss out on that. It's gonna be crazy. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.